welcome to Wall Nutrition. My name is Michelle Wall and I'm a holistic nutritionist. So I wanted to share my favorites for the month of June. I've been doing this for the last couple of months and it's a great way for me to share um, things that you can do, little tips and tricks that you can incorporate into your life to have a more holistic lifestyle. Um, as a holistic nutritionist, I don't just focus on nutrition with clients. I tend to give them tips about you know, other aspects of their life to help with their emotional stress, um, with their environment, and different things like that. So this is a great way for me to share little tips and tricks with you. Um, so I'm going to just get started with the June uh, favorites. So the first uh, favorite that I have um, are these little seeds that you can create sprouts with. And I just did a video on the importance of sprouting and how you can sprout your own mung beans. And it's a similar process. This is uh, clover, alfalfa, radish, and mustard seeds. And so whenever you sprout anything from a seed, a seed is a bit dormant, you, when you have a sprout, it's so packed full of vitamins, minerals, uh, enzymes, water. It's so energizing and, and gives the body a lot of vibrancy, especially with the enzymes. And because it's a living food, and um, it, it literally imparts the energy in it that it has into your body. So if you look at the type of food you're eating, you tend to take on certain characteristics of it. So more living and alive and fresh foods are gonna give you a more energy because they they haven't been cooked to death and they haven't you know lost a lot of, um, I guess, vitality, you could say. So sprouts are amazing. Um, and they're my first favorite, and especially with the weather being so nice and warm, you might, you know, people tend to want to consume more salads, more fresh fruits, more fresh, um, fresh and living foods. So sprouts are an amazing addition to any salad, too, and they are a complete superfood. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about, the next sort of food that I have, are uh, medjool dates. <laughs> And they have been a favorite of my son's, and they're a favorite of mine um, pretty much throughout. But especially now, they're great, I find. I can give my son a little piece of it. I don't give him too many dates because they are very, very sweet. But they're a, a great alternative for candy or caramel. They have a, a great caramel taste to them. And for me, they are actually too sweet that I actually stuff them with different types of nuts, sort of almonds or Brazil nuts or walnuts. And I actually saw that in, um, I was in Turkey a few years ago and they actually, you know, it is a dessert and you can buy them in the markets where they're dates stuffed with pistachios and different types of nuts. And the great thing about this combination is that the sweetness of the date and that caramel flavor with sort of the fat and the creaminess and protein of the nuts are a really great combination in terms of having this decadent, amazing flavor. But it also, the nuts and seeds really help with if there's too much sugar in the date. Obviously the date has fiber, which also helps, but this sort of fat slows down the sugar getting into your system too quickly to sort of spike your insulin levels if you have any issues um, with that or are wondering about it. There's also, uh, I'll link to a recipe below where you can create, you know, if you blend the dates and the nuts um, with raw cacao or different flavors, you can create these amazing truffles or power balls and it's just like a perfect combination um, to have and I've noticed with my son they're a really great way to, for him to have, you know, different nuts and things like that because it's then already broken down so that he can absorb it better. Um, so there's my take on the jewel dates, they're amazing. The next thing I have, and I've mentioned it before, is this Honest um, Healing Balm. And so I noticed that with the weather getting a lot warmer, um, I need sometimes a bit more uh, moisturization on my lips or even my face or my elbows or my knees. And this is really great. I just take it with me and I also use it for my son. Um, it's got just tons of great organic uh, natural oils, olive oil, shea butter, and it's really, really great um, and pretty much pretty clean um, balm to put on. And so I even use it as a lip gloss sometimes. 
So I really like that. And I've been using it a lot. And the next thing I'm going to talk about, or the next two things, are these essential oils. So I've got lavender and vanilla. And these oils, I'm going to talk about lavender first. So I've been taking lots of baths uh, lately. And uh, usually I put Epsom salts into the bath, so about a cup or two, and then I add lavender. And so the smell is really calming, and even using the essential oil on your, you know, you can just put it some on pulse points on your body to just absorb the smell before bed. It's really, really calming to the nervous system, and especially in a bath where it becomes sort of aromatized and like the oils are volatile, so they sort of, you know, you can smell it all around you. Um, it's really great to calm you down and the Epsom salts also help to calm you down in the bath. Um, so lavender, lots of calming this past month as always depending on you know with the weather changing and just depending on where you are in your life uh, there are always situations you need to be a little bit calmer for and that's a little just a little tip to help you to, to um, give a little bit more self-care. The next oil is vanilla and so I really love this oil. It's in actually jojoba oil, so it's a bit diluted to just put it on if I want to have sort of a fragrance around me. I don't wear conventional perfume or fragrance um, because the proprietary blends or whenever it's listed as fragrance or perfume, it's usually um, it's one of the dirty dozen chemicals. And within that umbrella term, there are tons of chemicals that companies don't need to list. So you don't know what is actually in their blend. And a lot of perfumes are really endocrine disruptors. They affect your hormones, um, which essentially affects your whole body. And sometimes people may not make that connection that whatever you put on your skin um, absorbs into your bloodstream and affects your body. So it's not just like what you're ingesting through your mouth. You're also sort of, in a way, ingesting and absorbing things through your skin. So whatever products and chemicals, um, beauty products that you use, uh, cleaning products, if you're touching them, they are in a way part is getting in, ingested, absorbed into your body. So you have to be aware of that. So if you want a bit of fragrance, like for me, this is a bit more natural. I just put vanilla on my pulse points. I don't do it very often if I remember to do it. Um, and, you know, I love the scent of vanilla. I, uh, you know, I'd rather smell like a dessert anyways. So that's another little tip that you can add in to sort of have a more holistic uh, um, beauty regimen, I suppose. The next uh, product I have is this Tarte Lip Butter, and it's called Coral Blossom, and I like this brand because it's um, pretty clean. It's not 100%, and I don't think any really, any cosmetics brands I haven't seen that are really 100% clean, but anything that's 80, 90%, you have to sort of make a discretion or, or that you, you get something that's a little bit better um, than having regular lipstick that may have lead and things like that and, and other chemicals that are in the dirty dozen chemicals list that are not good for the body and you know are cancer causing or disrupt your hormones. So you have to be aware of what you're putting on and lipstick tends to get literally you're ingesting it and eating it as you're wearing it. So it's probably best to get the cleanest kind you can. So this is pretty good. I like the color for summer um, and um, it's pretty easy to put on almost like a lip gloss so it's a bit of, I guess it's a lip butter, like sort of like a lipstick. Um, so yeah, that's been good for the summer or start of summer. <laughs> and the last item I have, and I've mentioned Gabrielle Bernstein before, is a book. Um, I find her stuff is pretty easy to understand, pretty simple to incorporate. I do different meditations at night that are a bit longer, but I find this book, this is just really, really um, quick um, tools that you can use throughout the day. Um, what I usually do is I just like flip through the book and, you know, I stumble, you know, whatever sort of like my finger lands on, I use that tool for the day. Um, for instance, uh, heart right now, harness the power of empathy. So if you look through it, it'll just give you um, 
sort of a tool or something to think about or to focus on. Um, and it gives you a message, so empathy is a virtue, use it wisely, and just sort of goes into an explanation of, of what it means and what you can do. And it's sort of a quick tool, it could be a quick meditation, just a quick affirmation, especially as you're going through your day and you find you have little bits of anxiety or fear or doubt um, or panic, <laughs> and you need to just kind of come back to center and reset. And for me, it's, it's pretty easy to do this. My son... It takes up a lot of my time and so I don't have uh, the luxury all the time of having you know half an hour unless he, he naps once a day to just do a meditation so this something really quick that I can just focus on um, for a few minutes while it, he's a bit distracted to just center me because I don't want to you know ha be having all kinds of uh, emotional things going on throughout the day with him um, and uh, so it's been really helpful because, you know, sometimes people think that everyone is super blissed out and super positive on Instagram and that's just a small portion of the day and maybe it's a big portion of the day, but it's like throughout the day we are all experiencing things and seeing things and things are happening and so we need tools, which this one is a great tool and, and nourishing foods to really keep us as balanced as possible to go through the ups and downs of life. So hopefully these uh, tips have helped you, these little items. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Please be sure to like this video, share it, and also subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. And I look forward to sharing more with you. Um, and I hope you can incorporate a little bit of what I've said into your day-to-day -day life to just push you a little bit more into a healthier lifestyle. Uh, to benefit you and <laughs> obviously your family. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to sharing more with you. Bye and have a great day. Bye.